The governor of the U.S. state of Iowa, Terry Branstad, could have the inside track to become the next U.S. ambassador to China. He met with President-elect Donald Trump in New York on Tuesday. After all, Donald Trump gave him an explicit endorsement just two days before winning the presidential election. Than him, he's one of the ones in dealing with China. Well, you would be your, you would be our prime candidate to take care of China. Branstad has a long relationship with Chinese President Xi Jinping. The pair met more than 30 years ago when she was a local party leader on an exchange trip to Iowa. Three years ago, she welcomed Branstad to the Great Hall of the People in Beijing with a broad smile. Much of their relationship centers on trade. China is a leading import market for Iowa. Only the year before, she made a special visit to Iowa as China's vice president. Here's what Governor Branstad said at the time. He's a very friendly, outgoing, personable individual, and I think he's going to help us improve the relations between the United States of America and the People's Republic of China. In recent days, that relationship has been tested as President-elect Trump took a phone call from the leader of Taiwan, breaking with decades of precedent. Then over the weekend, Trump posted this. Did China ask us if it was okay to devalue their currency? Given Trump's public tough talk on China, candidates for ambassador are well aware of the need to mediate skillfully. But Branstad isn't the only one under consideration for the post. Christopher Nixon Cox, the 37-year-old grandson of U.S. President Richard Nixon, is also in the running. Cox works on U.S.-China relations as both an international business consultant and a board member at the Nixon Foundation. He's not yet scheduled to meet with Trump about the job, but he has long-standing relationships of his own with Chinese officials. Meantime, sources close to Branstad say he would welcome the ambassador job if it is offered. And I can't comment on, on that at this, this point in time, just to say that I'm very proud to have supported uh, uh, Donald Trump for president. The question for the next U.S. ambassador is, how will the Trump presidency impact U.S.-China relations? 